Have you ever wanted to animate over video footage? Maybe you'd like to use video footage to study or reference for animation. By the end of this tutorial, we will learn how to import and animate over live action video footage. So let's get started. This tutorial is for Flip a Clip, which I like because it's easily available to most people and aside from some features, it's completely free. If you haven't seen my intro video on how to animate in Flip a Clip, I suggest you watch that video first and then come back to this one. So with all that out of the way, let's get started. So first we're going to record our live action video footage. Here is the footage that I recorded. It's just me walking into the scene and waving to the camera. That's me. Um, recording yourself can be really awkward sometimes. Um, it's okay to be awkward, so don't worry about it. And besides, only you are going to see it. So record your video, then we're going to open up Flip a Clip by clicking on the app. And we're going to make a new Flip a Clip project by clicking this plus down here. We'll give our animation a name. And then for the canvas size, since I recorded a vertical video, I'm going to select the TikTok format since that's a vertical video format. Just Select whatever format your video was recorded in. If it was in widescreen, then YouTube 1080 should work. So I'm going to select TikTok size. Go back. For the frames per second, I know that my video is at 30 frames per second, and I'll show you how you can find that out. So I'm going to select 30 frames per second to start with. And you can always change this later, so don't worry about getting this right off the bat. So once those settings are created, then we're going to select Create Project. And the first thing we want to do is import our video. So we're going to click these three dots on the top right here and select Add Video. Then I'm going to select the video that I recorded. Before you import your video, you can also drag these handles here on the left and right to trim your video down to where you want it to be trimmed to. If you click and drag, you can see exactly what frame you want it to stop at. And you can see on the top right is where I can see 30 frames per second. That's how I know that my video is at 30 frames per second. So with that, I'll press check. It'll process my video. So now I have my video imported into Flip a Clip. And if I press play, <laughs> you'll see it play in Flip a Clip. Pretty cool. So what's really neat is I can now click on this layer panel down here on the bottom right. And I can see my video layer is at the bottom here. And there is a new layer on top. If you don't see a new layer on top, you can always click this plus button right here to add a new layer. If you want to get rid of it, you can swipe from the middle and you'll bring up the lock, copy, and delete buttons. So I can just press delete to get rid of that layer. And then on this new layer, I can actually go over my video and draw over the top of it. So for example, if I wanted to add any effects to my animation, like... You know, I can go frame by frame and just add different effects and draw over the top of my video like this. And then you can animate some effects on top of a video this way. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to convert our live action into an animated character. So I'm just going to undo all that by clicking the undo button at the top here. So in order to trace over this video, we want to lower its opacity so we can better see what we're drawing. I'm going to click on my layers panel on the bottom right select my video layer, and I'm going to click and drag where this 100% is. And I'm just going to drag it down until it reaches about 25%. That should be good. And I'll also lock it off so that I don't accidentally draw on it. I'll go back to my layer 1 here. So now that we're on a layer above our video, we can actually trace what we see with our tool. You'll notice I'm wearing my preferred uniform of pajamas and a plaid shirt. Very professional animator's uniform. So this could be one way you reference using your video, or another way you could do it is to draw a cartoon character over it, whichever style you wanted to do. Now, you may realize quickly that this is a lot of frames. If you were to draw, what is this, 104 frames? That's a lot of frames. If you're going to create a drawing like this on every single frame, that's going to be a lot of work. So before we get into the speed animation section of the video, I want to give one last tip on a way to speed up your workflow when doing this rotoscoping type of animation. One thing we can do is we can take out half of these frames and then take our frames per second and split that in half as well. So I'll show you how we're going to do that. We want to edit multiple frames at the same time. So to do that, we're going to click the three dots on the top right. 
select frames viewer. This is a way you can easily edit multiple frames at the same time. And what we want to do is we want to select every other frame and then delete it. So we press and hold on one of the frames until it's selected. And then we just want to select every other one. So it's as easy as going down the line and just selecting every other frame. And then when half of your frames are selected, we press this trash can down at the bottom to delete them. And then if we press the X on the top left to go back into our animation and then click the back arrow to get out of the frames viewer. Now, if we play our video, it's going to move at twice the speed. So maybe this is what you want, but in order to fix this, we're going to change the frames per second after deleting every other frame. So to do that, just click the three dots again, this time go into project settings, and here you can change the frames per second afterwards. So instead of 30 frames per second like our original video, we're going to set it to half of that, which is 15. Or if you had a 24 frames per second video, that would be 12 frames per second. So we set it to 15, go back, save changes, and now if we play it, it'll be the correct speed. And while 52 frames is a lot of frames, it's not 104. So <laughs> animation's a lot of work. So it's still a lot of work, but it's way less work than it was before. So I'm going to create a new layer and we'll go frame by frame tracing our live action video footage until it's all finished. All right, so we got our animation finished. That took me about an hour and 15 minutes just for this little dumb little thing that's not even real animation, it's just like tracing a video. I hope that gives you an idea of how much work animation really is, but don't be discouraged. This is a fun little thing and you know, you don't have to do it all in one sitting like I did. You could do this 10 frames at a time and you know, come back to it. And using this method of importing a video into Clip a Clip can actually be really useful for professional animators. You can use it to map out arcs on say a ballet dancer or whatever kind of animation you're wanting to study. But yeah, this is how to animate and rotoscope live action video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make it. Um, I was a little bit nervous to upload it, you know, sort of put my neck beard out there, but I hope you guys appreciated it. Like and uh, leave a subscribe if you'd like to see more animation tutorials in the future. And um, hope you take care and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> take it easy. Appreciate you. And uh, bye bye. Be sure to click here to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on future videos and tutorials. If you'd like to help support my work, you can click here to visit my Patreon page. You also get access to rewards like early access to tutorials, source animation files, and access to a secret Patreon-only chat room. Keep on animating, and until next time, bye bye